Welcome to BSW's Tech Dive. Tech, tech Dive. The birds, the ship. The show goes technically deep into products you care about. <laughs> the new, the old, the newish. So put on your gear, close up the hatch, and prepare to dive. Dive. The birds, the ship. And now, here's John. Welcome to another edition of Tech Dive. I am John Lynch, Director of Business Development for BSW Broadcast Supply Worldwide. You can find us on the web at bswusa.com. And when you go there to bswusa.com, I'd like you to do this. Top right corner, we have a search box. Type in the following, HDV-LITE, HDV Light. That's our topic on today's edition of Tech Dive. Let me bring in our special guest. He's the president of NSoft LLC, the creators of HTV Mixer, and a very well recognized, experienced broadcast engineer in his own right, Alex Bonello. And Alex, HTV Light, for something called Light, it's got a lot of heavy horsepower. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's a full blown uh, production system. Uh, in, 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 in one package, in one software package. Um, you can do what, what we are doing right now. Uh, you can add graphics, uh, you can have uh, remote guests uh, and stream it live to social media platforms. Yeah, so it's really, really powerful. Now, when you get into HTV Lite, we've talked about historically when the product's been available, three video inputs and a video player included. That was then, we'll talk about what's now a little later, but just to talk about there, what could you do with the three video inputs and the video player? You could have, for instance, two cameras in your studio, say a close-up uh, of the host and the close-up of a guest, uh, and the third input could be this video player to play V-rolls, uh, intros, outros, or, or other, other support. Maybe even the latest music video from that guest. For, for instance, yeah, absolutely. That's great. Depending on the podcast, yeah, it can be so, so many things. Yeah. And that video player is built into the HTV software. That's correct. The video player is called Media Hub. Uh, we call it Media Hub because it's a video player, but it can also play uh, live streams. It can play IP cameras. So you can bring uh, all sorts of video content through that player. Now, just in 2020, you added some horsepower. Didn't add to the price. The two things are a fourth video input. Now we're at four. Mm -hmm. See if we get that right, four instead of four. three. And what we're doing right now, Airlink Live. Tell us about those additions. That's right. That, that, that's, and actually, they, they work together. So we added a fourth input because we wanted uh, everyone, all our customers, to have a fourth input for Air Live, uh, Airlink Live. Sorry. Uh, Airlink Live is this feature that will bring uh, remote video from a guest, uh, both video and audio in high quality. It's HD video and broadcast quality audio. Uh, and you can integrate it as, as if it was one additional microphone and camera in your studio. But with uh, that one addition, you have not just me as the host and you as the guest, we could actually have three more guests all on this one input into Airlink Live and into HTV Lite. That's, cor that's correct, yeah. So Airlink Live works with, with the link that you send to your guest or guests. Uh, and if multiple guests click on that link, uh, then they will all show up where I'm, where I'm here you know, in this area. Okay, and, and you can, of course, put them full screen if you want or do a split screen as we're doing right now. There are two outputs for social media on HTV Lite. What are the most popular? The most popular, I think, are Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Uh, okay. And that's on top of the recorder. So you can record locally on your hard drive as well. Now, are you locked in to that? Or is there an upgrade path if somebody needs more outputs down the road? 
certainly there's an upgrade path and there's no penalty by starting small and then growing your system to a system with more outputs. And also you can have multiple social media accounts preloaded in HTV Mixer and select which two you want to stream at any given time. So let's say you do multiple podcasts or you have different shows, uh, so you can have multiple Facebook accounts, multiple YouTube accounts, Twitch accounts uh, preloaded in the system and you can select up to two uh, to stream live simultaneously, um, w which is also handy because you, you can have all those uh, accounts in there. But if they needed to upgrade their system so they could have more outputs, we can go to another level of HTV Lite up to a different level of HTV mixer, and now they could have as many as 25 outputs. That's correct. They, they can grow from there to five outputs or up to 25 outputs, yeah, in our uh, biggest offering, let's say. Now, one other thing to put in, if you're on that web page, bswusa.com, I have one more model number or SKU, as it's called, to give you. It's called Going Pro Kit. That's all one word. Going Pro Kit dash RCP dash HDV. That's a bundle that we've created that includes HDV Lite and the very popular Roadcaster Pro, which the folks at Rode who created the Roadcaster Pro work with us and work with Alex's company. So the Roadcaster Pro will do everything you need to operate your HDV Lite. If you have nothing to start with, one kit and you're ready to go. That's, that's a great kit to start because you have the audio board, the microphones, cameras, and HTV. And by the way, when you're using that kit, when you connect uh, HTV to a Roadcaster Pro console, then you can have automated camera switching based on the audio levels of each microphone. Uh, so when, when you are talking, uh, then it can go full screen to you. When I'm talking, uh, it will go full screen to me. Uh, and when we're both talking or we are silent, then it, it, it can do this split screen. Of course, you can override that automation if you don't want it, but, but it's quite handy for, for most applications. For a lot of different shows. Matter of fact, I remember the first time we debuted HDV Mixer, we were at a uh, program for religious broadcasters. And the first question that got asked that weekend was, can this be voice activated? It would work great in my Bible study course. And we said, and I, of course, this was brand new to me. And so I said, uh, let's talk to Alex. What'd you say? Yes, it can. Yes. Okay, good. Now, yeah. so, mm -hmm. but having that ability to add that in, whether it's added on later or like on the Going Pro kit, like you talked about with HTV, that's included with the way that the uh, Roadcaster Pro operates, just gives the end user more flexibility in how they want to produce each of their shows. Absolutely, because most podcasters, although video is very, very important, they have to make sure that the content is interesting and, and, and make sure that, that they have everything right. So if you focus too much on the technicalities of the video, you are not focusing on your show, on your podcast. Uh, so we want to try to automate the video switching as much as possible so that the host can focus on the show and on the content and on the interview or whatever he's doing and not on, on having to switch cameras back and forth and that kind of stuff. H but, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, by the way, all these links that you are mentioning, they are going to be available here uh, in the description so that anyone can click on there and there and, and be redirected to the BSW website. HDV-LITE is the software package. And then we can add to that or a kit that's got everything to get started with Going Pro Kit dash RCP dash HDV, and you can look at both of those SKUs on the BSW USA website. And for more information, just go to there or give us a call. There's the number right up uh, above me, 800 426 8434, here at BSW Broadcast Supply Worldwide. Alex, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, sir. It's been a, another edition of Tech Dive. I am John Lynch. Thank you for joining us. Baby, turn out the light.